I wanted to make a uh, water distiller for a while now, and of course I lack funds to do such things without a job, but I made this out of parts that I had left over from previous jobs. Um, oh, this is, is a, uh, and forgive the disgusting state of my stove. Um, it's just the pot, and it's got the bubbler thing removed and then I have these uh, little gasket things put down into it Let's see if I can get that better focused for you like that that's like a hose adapter with a screw on the end this is a whipped cream thing I'm a bob here um so there's just regular tap water in there boiling and this thing, this is all like just really crap. It's like a prototype. Um, and this is. Uh, just clear PVC. Uh, not, not sure. It's copper. Now. You see the bubbles forming and the drops of water and they are condensing very slowly because uh, it's not much cooler on the outside than it is on the inside. Ideally you'd want this uh, to cool faster like by having a longer section of like copper tubing so that the heat generated from here is not transferred to the entire uh, hose. Plastic is a terrible conductor so um, anyway I could explain this in another video when I make a better one. Now right here is where I'm collecting the distilled water and down inside of there is if you can see that ice water and that is to help it uh, Really, the ice water should be all around this tubing, but um, that's just too much work for such a shitty job. That's just a gasket that I've made right there out of uh, paper towels that are wet so that I get a better seal. Now, you see all this stuff that I'm losing, all this steam? You don't want that. See, so, you now, if I was making this, like, seriously, I would probably find a way to seal this so that no air could get out of it and then I would drill a hole somewhere in there and put a like a, a valve so that I could add water to it but this would be ideally sealed and it would be the only way out right here um, so there you go I mean it's real simple distilling water is like it's kind of idiot proof you distill water every time you uh, you cook but um so there you go real simple on how to distill water let's take a look and see what water i have collected so far and this was completely empty when i started this takes a long time because i'm losing so much steam that it's not i mean there's hardly anything going through here if this was sealed then it would be like just pumping it and um let's see what we got here probably a bunch of steam will come out of here Not a lot. Let me get it into the light so that you can see. This was completely empty when I started. Now I've got about half a cup. I mean, this took a while, you know, like 30 minutes. And, you know, it's really wasteful to run your stove that much. But uh, if this was all sealed up, like I said, this would work great. It would be much more efficient, a lot faster. And you could do all this with just uh, out in the sun, you know, like ambiently. Like, you know, you just set it out there and occasionally go collect the water. Um, you could collect rainwater and have it funnel into something like this that's painted black. And 
it would just it would just distill your water automatically. Though rainwater is kind of already distilled. Uh, anyway, so there you go. We'll have to distill some water.